Hello everyone, this is Robert Landau, Live Life Well TV host with another episode of Health and Wellness Tips, and she's back. Why? Because she's an integral part of the show. Without her, you know what? There wouldn't be a show. So with that said, it is my pleasure to welcome back the one, the only, Gwen Wilburn. She is the Senior Vice President of Clinical Operations for Retirement Center Management. Welcome back, Gwen. Thanks, Robert. Hi. It, it sounds like you're an act on the Ed Sullivan show, the way I introduced you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, today's topic, I guess they all are, but just like they all are, this is hugely important to a resident's continuing health. And I had never heard of the term or title of this episode until uh, you told me you wanted to speak about this. And the words that you used are polypharmacy. So let's start off, Gwen, with a definition of polypharmacy. Thanks, Robert. So polypharmacy, it, it is very important. Um, and and by, defi by definition alone, it's polypharmacy. So basically, too many medications. And so the, the number that we go off of, in di different settings go by different numbers. So say in, in some settings go by five numbers, five medications, but in our setting, long-term care, we go off of nine, nine medications. So nine medications, is considered polypharmacy, so too many medications. Um, so that's basically what that means. And why we gave it the name polypharmacy, I don't know, just a fancy name for too many medications, basically. <laughs> it sounds kind of Greek to me or, or something like that. You know, it's very exotic sounding, but for a very real issue, I bet. So you're saying that nine or more medications would fall under this category. Right. Right. And that's easy to, easy to, it's easy to happen because our seniors have chronic conditions, chronic medical conditions. And, and with those chronic conditions come medications. So say if they have uh, diabetes, chronic pain, um, COPD, heart failure. So just those alone, they can be prescribed multiple medications for those chronic conditions. And you add up those medications that are prescribed for those conditions, well, and there you have polypharmacy. And the reason it's so important is because each of those medications come with side effects or interactions. So those medications interact with each other. The more medications that you're taking, the more interactions occur. So there has to be a lot of oversight. Uh, the more medications you have, the more oversight that needs to happen. So what can happen if... if and I guess it depends on the medications themselves, but what can happen if a resident is on too many medications, but they feel that each one is important because each of those many medications might address a different health issue? Things can happen such as, um, say if two medications have the same side effect, say if two medications had the side effect of causing um, drowsiness or dizziness. What's going to potentiate that drowsiness effect? So it's going to make them extra dizzy or extra sleepy. So that can be dangerous. Or, or say if if there's a side effect of um, lowering a blood pressure, well that could that could lower your blood pressure even further and 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 be a fall hazard, a fall you know potential for falls if your blood pressure is too low. So um, those are those are some uh, some hazards that could happen, so we have to monitor that. So what are the best ways to, to handle a, a polypharmacy situation? So one of, the, one of the best ways is for, for a person, anybody actually, to, to have a list of all medications that you're on. So um, that's over-the-counter medications, supplements, all your prescriptions and always have a, a current list of all those medications and take it to every appointment that you have, whether that's with your general practitioner, your cardiologist, your internist, your pain management doctor, every, every appointment that you go to because each specialist, they're, they're dealing with just their specialty and prescribing what's important to them, but they need to know all the other medications that you're taking 
so they can um, monitor the interactions of those other medications. Um, so that's very important. It's also a really good idea to go to one pharmacy because the pharmacist is always, a, they're always very helpful. I, I, I love the pharmacist because I think they're just a wealth of knowledge. But one pharmacy, because that way they have a list of all your medications and it's, it's very helpful to go to one pharmacy as well. I love that. Th those two tips are gold. I mean, they're extremely important and they can save lives. And, and they were, keep a running list of all of your medications on the same piece of paper. And when there's a new one, don't forget to put it on to that list. Take that list to every doctor you go see, even if you go to different doctors for different things. Because as you said, when they can, uh, the doctors can see what else uh, you are on and then know what works together and what doesn't. And then, yeah, if you get your medications from Walgreens and some other medications from C CVS or whatever, just make sure it's only one pharmacy because the pharmacist, yes, I, I always forget how valuable a resource a pharmacist is. And besides putting packages together and, and medications together, they really are a wonderful resource. Yeah, that, that is huge. Anything else about this topic? So one last thing, Robert, is, is going to, for example, say if you go from home and you go to the hospital, say then you go to rehab for a little while, and then say you move into assisted living. Each, each one of those places, we need to look at your medications and make sure that those medications were supposed to still continue. Because sometimes medications were only supposed to be for a short amount of time, such as in the hospital stay. Maybe you were on a medication for just that short amount of time. Maybe it wasn't meant to be continued whenever you, you left the hospital. So it's important to reconcile each, each place that you go to and make sure that those medications were supposed to be continued because those can, those can build up on you. So it's important to, to keep that running tally, basically, of, of your medications. Again, it goes back to that list, but um, uh, it's very important to, to reconcile the medications, too. Yeah, so, so the resident needs to be empowered and, mm -hmm. and be responsible for keeping that running list and then taking that list with them wherever they go. Uh, huge, that is huge. Well. Very important tips for a vitally important topic. Thanks again, Gwen, for being with us for another episode of Health and Wellness Tips. Thank you, Gwen. Thank you. And this has been Robert Landau, Live Life Well TV host, and we will see you next time.